Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe, and share with your fellow denarian friends. To help support our channel we now accept tips using the blockchain based Brave Browser and BAT tokens, it makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. To those of you that made a contribution, I sincerely thank you very much. If you have not done so yet, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the awesome new Currency Exchange Planner companion, voted the number one exchange planner in the Dinar community for a reason. Both the links to the powerful secure blockchain Brave browser as well as the Currency Exchange Planner are in the description box below this video. First article of interest for today. An agreement between the Communications Commission and the Central Bank to activate the electronic banking system. The Media and Communications Commission discussed with the Central Bank of Iraq, on Wednesday, a memorandum of understanding on the basis of which the system will develop the electronic bank and provide technical consultations within the projects of the DOM 2025 strategic initiative. In a statement, Moise News received a copy of it, the authority said, in the presence of the Chief Executive Officer Ali Nasser al Kuwaildi, member of the Board of Trustees Salem Mashkor, technical assistant, directors of the Video and Audio Regulation Department, the Comprehensive Service Department and the Communications Regulatory Department, I discussed with the Governor of the Central Bank, Ali Awal Alak and members from the Board of Directors. The DOM 2025 Strategic Initiative has set among its priorities the development of the financial and banking sector and the contribution to the transition towards digital financial trading, as well as training and development programs for technical cadres with the assistance of the International Telecommunication Union. al Whale D said, The Commission is keen to communicate with all institutions and the central bank, foremost of which is the basic pillar of the state. Alco Ildi suggested, forming a joint team that takes it upon itself to develop a memorandum of understanding between the authority and the central bank to implement strategic technological programs that could benefit the rest of the sectors, such as agriculture, the economy, health, education, and education. For his part, Owl Alak stressed that, the economic and financial aspect is the most challenging in Iraq and the electronic banking transformation will contribute to its growth, especially with the presence of 70 private banks and hundreds of exchange companies, expressing, Welcome to the authorities' initiative to hold a memorandum of understanding for joint cooperation and implementing vital programs on the level of Iraq. In turn, the board member of the Board of Trustees, Salem Mashkor, referred to the importance of the media in disseminating electronic banking awareness and dealing with the media in a transparent manner to establish a solid banking culture in a clear way away from ambiguity, calling the central bank to sponsoring media campaigns aimed at spreading economic awareness and the importance of technology in developing. The statement pointed out that the first items of the Memorandum of Understanding were also discussed which included developing programs and applications for the banking and financial transfer system and training cadres to manage them, in addition to technological projects to support other sectors and state institutions in general. The agreement also included the establishment of projects in rural and remote areas represented in the delivery communications services, building schools, hospitals, and other service projects. Next article of interest. Saleh. The restructuring of the 2020 budget is the only solution to its approval because there is an insurmountable deficit. The financial advisor to the Prime Minister, Maza R. Mohamed Saleh, confirmed that restructuring the fiscal budget for 2020 and returning it to the first square is the only solution for approval. Saleh said in a press statement that the House of Representatives has the task of reviewing the legislations issued from 2003 to the day that have great financial consequences that are not subject to change, noting that the deficit is not solved except with a financial surgical operation and needs sacrifices. He explained that in the event that the budget is not restructured and find alternatives and other solutions, it is likely that it will not be approved this year and the current investments and expenditures will remain in progress and dependence will be on the amount of revenue only. He continued, 
the deficit exceeded 50 trillion dinars, and there is no compensation for it other than borrowing, and the country does not bear other debts. Next article of interest. Alabadi launches a six-point initiative to overcome the government formation crisis. The head of the Victory Coalition, Haider Alabadi, proposed a six-point initiative to get the country out of the crisis and form an independent government with the involvement of activists and joint oversight committees. Alabadi called in a statement received by Ein today, Wednesday, all parties with solidarity solutions out of the crisis and the need to show wisdom and a spirit of compromise away from narrow interests and high ceilings and risk adventures. He added that the initiative comes from national responsibility and to overcome the crisis of trust and the emptiness of power, noting that the initiative includes assigning the President of the Republican Independent, efficient and strong personality to head the government within 15 days, and forming a mini-government to manage the transitional phase provided that it does not exceed one year from the day on which it takes responsibility. He added that among the initiative was to hold early and fair elections in partnership with UNAMI and no later than 31 December 2020, to control security, to confine arms to the state, to bring the perpetrators of the demonstrators and security forces to justice, to impartial national decision, and to compel the Prime Minister designate to form the government away from partisan quotas agitated while maintaining the representation of the national societal diversity, involving professional competencies in government activists, and appointing an advisor to the Prime Minister for mass demands, to ensure the involvement of the public in the management of the transitional phase. He pointed to the formation of special three-party committees from the government, the UNAMI and the demonstrators, to supervise the tasks of holding elections and the investigation committees for killing protesters and security forces and restoring security in the Iraqi governorates. Next article of interest. World Health warns of the corona transmission of healthy people by touching paper currencies. A new danger looms about the possibility of the transmission of the new corona from its sufferers to the healthy ones through a bridge of dealing in paper currencies. Foliar so it recommends that you wash your hands immediately after touching any paper currency, because corona may be transmitted through it from one person to another, and suggested using different methods of financial handling because the emerging coronian virus may remain for several days on the surface of the fiat currency. Last month, banks in China and South Korea started clearing and isolating the securities used to prevent the deadly virus from staying in them. Values off the Chinese central bank stated at a press conference that the bank uses UV rays or high temperatures to purify and sterilize the securities, then isolated and quarry for 14 days before recycling it. The measures of the central bank come in parallel with the increasing hesitation of the Chinese to use the currency for fear of catching the infection, although most securities dealers have used their smartphones to pay their dues and the price of their daily purchases for years but the Chinese central bank has put up sterile 4 billion yuan in securities. 53 million euros, in the province of Hubei, where the epicenter is the epicenter. Yesterday, a WHO spokesman told the British Daily Telegraph, the money moves between our hands frequently and can pick up all kinds of bacteria and viruses. So we advise people to wash their hands after dealing with them, and avoid touching their faces when possible to reduce from the risk of transmission, he says. It is not yet known, and definitively, how long a new corona can live outside the human body, with an almost certain possibility that it can remain contagious for contaminated objects for up to nine days at room temperature, according to what was indicated by the analysis of 22 previous studies of viruses similar. However, antiseptics can be removed quickly, and they may also be destroyed by high temperatures. Also, a warning was issued by experts of the Russian Federal Authority for Consumer Protection, summarizing that securities are the most common way to transmit a pathogenic infection, including influenza, as its virus can stay on the paper currency for two weeks, and it can be infected upon receiving the salary, 
whether through the Treasury or via ATMs, and advised that it is necessary to completely move away from antibiotics because they are not useful in combating viral infections. As for protection from corona, the hands are washed well after contacting the paper currency. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter for all of today's articles of interest. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the new Currency Exchange Planner Companion before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails and they boot up the new quantum financial system on the blockchain. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. The program is made so everyone can afford to save in gold by offering it one gram at a time. Start saving in a real true asset like gold. It's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. Why do you think all the central banks are loading up on gold lately and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video. Go check them out. Knowledge is power. Using that newfound knowledge is powerful. Over and out, for now, the Denarian.